Elasticity of Demand Percentage Method The concept Elasticity of Demand devises a technique to assign a numerical value to the responsiveness of a change in quantity demanded of a good to a given change in its price. One of the techniques is percentage method. The formula to calculate elasticity of demand is to divide percentage change in quantity demanded by percentage change in price. We shall use a demand schedule to understand this. This is the demand schedule. The price falls from 50 rupees to 25 rupees. Quantity demanded goes up from 4 units to 7 units. In this segment, we are going to calculate the elasticity of demand. The formula can symbolically be represented as since one fraction is to be divided by another fraction, we have to change it as Hundred and hundred get cancelled. Then the formula becomes by rearranging the terms we get delta Q by delta P into P1 by Q1. The subscript 1 in both P and Q stands to denote initial price or original price and initial quantity or original quantity. For our convenience, let us do away with the subscripts. Finally, the formula is delta Q by delta P into P by Q. Having obtained the formula, we shall try to find the elasticity. Delta Q is equal to Q1 minus Q2. That is initial quantity minus new quantity. It should be noted that the order of finding the change should not be changed. Delta P is equal to P1 minus P2. That is initial price minus new price. Again, the order should not be changed. Change should never be calculated from new quantity to initial quantity or new price to old price. This is very important. This will help you to solve different types of problems based on percentage method in future. Okay. In our example, the initial quantity is 4, new quantity is 7. The change in quantity is, that is delta Q is 4 minus 7 equal to minus 3 units. The initial price is 50 rupees, the new price is 25 rupees.
the change in price that is delta p is 50 minus 25 equal to 25 You know in the formula P stands for initial price rupees 50 and the Q stands for initial quantity 4 units. Substitute these values in the formula. On simplifying we get the elasticity value minus 1.5. Normally we take modulus for elasticity and ignore the sign. At last we have elasticity is equal to 1.5. This elasticity value is greater than 1. So we declare that in the price range 50 to 25, the demand is relatively elastic. Well, what is the logic behind comparing elasticity value with 1? It goes like this. When the quantity and the price changes by the same percentage, the resultant elasticity value will be 1. For example, assuming quantity changes by 20%, price also changes by 20%, then 20% divided by 20% gives elasticity value 1. This is called unitary elastic demand. We take this as a reference to identify the other types of elasticity. That is whether demand is relatively elastic or relatively inelastic. In our example, the elasticity value is 1.5. This is greater than 1. Its interpretation is that the percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than percentage change in price. To make it clear, it can also be stated like this. If price changes by 100%, quantity changes by 150%. This is the logic in comparing elasticity value with 1. If we calculate the elasticity in the range 25 to 10, then the elasticity value will be 0 0.24. This is less than 1. In this segment of the demand schedule, the demand is relatively inelastic. The viewers can work out the elasticity manually and check the result with 0 0.24. We shall meet again with more problems on percentage method.